Hi guys, this is a tutorial for Consequences by Camilla Cabello. As usual, everything you're going to need, including the cords that I used for this and also my playing pattern, are down in the description box, so please go and check that out. There is a full run through of the song at the end of the video if you're interested in that, stay tuned. If you're not a subscriber and you enjoyed this, I'd love to have you around on my channel, so do hit the little subscribe button and remember to ring the little notification bell because I might post a song that you have requested and you don't want to miss it. Thank you as usual to my Patreon supporters and those of you who have supported me on coffee. If you're interested in doing either of those things, links are down in the description box. Apart from that, let's just get started with this tutorial. So as usual, I'm going to talk you through the chords first of all. We've got six of them in this song, but trust me, they're not that tricky. They're super simple chords. So, so first chord that we're going to want is a C. So we're quite high, this is middle C down here. So this is where we are on the piano. Um, if you don't have this much piano to play with, just go wherever you feel is comfortable and where you can fit. So C in our right hand is gonna be C, E, G. Left hand, C, G, or you can just play a C if you want. When we get to the bigger chords in the chorus, we're going to want two C's in our right, uh, left hand, sorry. And again, if you can't stretch that whole octave, just play the lower one. It's up to you. I'm giving you options, okay? So, that is our C chord. The next chord that we're going to want is... C with F's underneath, okay? So this is going to appear a couple of times in the intro and in the outro. So just be aware that that's a thing and that's literally just a C with two F's underneath. That's as simple as that is, okay? So next chord that we're gonna want is a G. So right hand is gonna be G, D, B. Left hand, G, D. Okay, that's our G chord. Again, if you just wanna take one G in the left, that's fine two G's for the chorus and we're good to go okay so that's our G chord next chord that we're going to want is an A minor right hand A C E left hand A E or again if we're taking the bigger chords two A's or if you just want to take one A that's absolutely fine so that's our A minor, okay? Next chord that we're gonna want is an F. So right hand is gonna be F, A, C. Left hand, F, C, or two Fs, one F. That's our F chord. Next chord that we want is an E minor. So right hand is gonna be E. G, B. Left hand is going to be E, B, or two E's, okay? Because I think that's only in the chorus. So left hand is just going to be two E's or an E, whatever you fancy. And the last chord that we're going to want is a D minor. So right hand is going to be D. F and A. In our left hand we're going to have two Ds. I know you can't see this lower one, but it is there. Again, you can just play one if you want. It's up, totally up to you. So let's go through those chords one more time. So C. C with the F underneath, which I'm not sure counts as a proper chord. Uh, we've got G. A minor, F, E minor, and D minor. Okay, so let's talk about the intro. So for the intro, we just want the C, and you want to roll through that C, okay? So, C with the F's underneath, G, and that's the intro. Then we're going A minor, F, G, A minor, F, G, and we're doing that one, two, three, four times throughout the verse, okay? So like this. 
shoes, trust issues, glasses on the sink, they didn't fix you, lonely pillows in the stream. the verse is just a minor f g super simple let's go into the chorus so loving you was young and wild and free so for those two first lines we want c f g and we just roll through those okay so loving you was young and wild and free and again loving you was cool and high and sweet big chords loving you was sunshine so here we've got a minor g sunshine safe and sound uh, f steady place to e minor d minor let down my defenses Let's do that part again. Loving you was young and wild and free. Loving you was cool and high and sweet. Loving you was sunshine, safe and sound, a steady place to live. to the verse and it's the same but we just go through the chords twice so a minor f g twice so hesitation awkward conversation running all up expectation every siren that i was ignoring i'm paying for it loving you was young the same and wild and free loving you was cool So for this next part, there wasn't any indication on the chords I used for what this part was, so I've just put together something easy that fits. So it's D minor F. Tell me who, 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 who. D minor C. Tell me who, 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 who. And D minor F. again loving you was done and dark and cheap loving you it still takes shots at me loving you was sunshine but then it poured and i lost so much more than my senses This last part for the outro. After we go, loving you had consequences. So we're on the C, okay? So we want the C with the F underneath. G. Then I just hit a C. C. I. F's underneath. Na, 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 na. Hit this A. G. Okay, so let me play the outro for you one more time. Cause loving you had consequences. Okay, and that is.
is it. So if you have any problems with this, please feel free to let me know and I'll do my best to help you out. If you did enjoy this and you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you around on my channel and learning new songs with me. So please hit that subscribe button. Full run through of the song in just a second, so stay tuned if you're interested in that. Apart from that, I hope that you guys are well and that you did enjoy this and I will speak to you all very, very soon. Mwah. Bye. So much more than my senses